How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games. We're back with another horror game. This one is uh, quite a long demo on an upcoming title called Martha Is Not Dead. Apparently, it's a really intense story-driven uh, horror slash thriller. And we'll take a look at the demo and we'll see what it's like. And then maybe we'll play the full game when it's out. Who knows? Let's dive in! All right, Martha does not have a pulse. Let's go. I'm gonna find out at the end of this why Martha is dead. The White Lady. Ooh. According to an ancient legend, the okay. lakes of the area haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. A lover's nightly tryst by the lake. So much hope and desire, but death, not love, was awaiting her. This is a very depressing play. Oh. Look at the moon. I don't really know. Okay, look at the moon. Oh, what a beautiful moon tonight. Oh! Okay. Um. My love is not here yet. I'll wait. All right. Oh. You're here at last. You could do better than that. Oh! What the... I'm going up and down. Wait, I've got to... Oh, crap. Okay. i got to shake my hips at him. If I float towards him... What's going on? Why are you acting weird? He's levitating. Wait, hold on. You cheated on me. I know you kissed another. Well, that's both the same thing. You cheated on me. I most certainly did not. I would never do that. I love you. Are you crazy? I'm going to say, are you crazy? Are you crazy? Oh, damn. This is very Jerry Springer. I love you too much. The thought of you with another drives me insane. That's why you have to die. Oh, wow. Straight to it. <laughs> I hope this isn't being shown at a kid's party. What did I do to you? You drowned me. You drowned my ass. Over a kiss. Could have just dumped me. In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Oh, oh, okay, I'm the executioner now. Are we gonna... I think we're gonna kick the chair out, right? <laughs> yep. Wasn't worth it. Bitches be tripping. Well, this is a lovely start. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, takes the life of a young woman. Whenever events take her back to that sad day. What? Well, I thought she'd go after men because it was a man who killed her. What are you doing in the water? Oh, you know, she's going to jump up and kill her. Oh, I'm the white lady. I'm coming! Oh dear. This isn't going to end badly for the woman having a picnic. Help! Help me! Oh crap. The budget that went into this puppet show to just tell me the story is it's insane. Ciao. I'm Julia. Julia K. Oh. Hello, Julia. I'm glad you are here. Nobody has visited me in ages. It's been years now. It's probably your I puppet shows. I must tell shows. you my story, but I don't know where to begin. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. Why? My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals, or whatever else was in that damned place. 
All right. So we don't have a good social life. Oh! Oh, look, there's my... There's me! Okay. All right, so we're going to set up these sensors and try and capture some animals in this damned place. Not a very sturdy tripod, though. A little bit of wind, and that's going to... Reel off the film. Oh, okay, so we're in... Is this, like, olden days? Open the camera. It's Remove definitely not a cannon, is it? Oh. All this to capture pigeons. It's, um... A new hobby is needed! There we go. We have very nice hands, I must say, like... Close the camera. Close the camera. So this is a very, like, click and interactive thing. But I think you can walk around and stuff in this game as well. But it's very story-driven. Oh. Activate the timer. Wow, well, cameras were very hard to use. Now to bring the image into focus. There's something floating on the surface of the water. Don't go down there! Frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. Uh, it's a dead bitch. Alright, a zombie dead bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a dead bitch. I told you, it's a dead bitch. In the water. What? Is that a person? I must help them. No, don't! They're doing backstrokes! Oh, Christ. Oh my god. Don't slip! There's some breathing issues. Okay. Oh, she's gone. Can't all be that bad. Oh! Oh, wow. We're just gonna... We're just gonna dive in, are we? Damn, but that water's cold. Oh, shit. Okay, right, we're in control now. Excuse me! Love? Oh, she's gonna bite her face off, isn't she? <gasps> oh, just leave her! Yep, yeah, we're gonna die. Ah. I instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I was what? scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister, my twin, a part of me, dead. Impossible to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. To be honest though, she did steal your dress. So that's punishable by ah, death. Stay calm. Oh. Martha is not dead. Wow, I have such a good body. I need it's to focus. Possible. Well, it is possible that like, she's bluer than blue tack. It's not true. It's true. There's no need to worry. She's dead. There's every need to worry. There's a dead soggy bitch on Everything the beach. Everything is fine. Everything will be fine. Nothing's fine. Not dead. I'm gonna say, judging by the veins in her face, it's she's not dead. I think Martha is. Martha, yep. February 26th, 1923. Kind of confirms it, doesn't it? Steal her jewelry? Is everything okay? Are you hurt? No, but she is. My sister's dead. What are you doing? Go, Eric. Run. My parents ran towards me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me, speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. 
Oh. I didn't want the moment to fade. So I meekly nodded my head. Oh. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. She posed as her sister because she took her to necklace. To Martha, forever. No. This game should be called Martha's a Liar! Oh, wow. What, what, where am I? Okay, Martha. Has lost. Oh, God. Her. Soul or life, soul or life. Let's do life! Okay. Screw it. Martha. Has lost. Uh, let's do soul because uh, technically we've taken it. Soul. Oh shit. Okay, this is why mum didn't like you and she liked Martha. Set up cameras at the lake and all that shit. needs a makeover. She has Martha no lips. Has This game, isn't it? But I mean, I guess that's kind of messed up what she did. Just taking her sister's identity. Mum's gonna be pissed. Oh dear. I need to tune that guitar. to come along and take our identity. Oh no. What am I doing? Oh my god! Why am I doing this to my sister? I'm cutting her face off. What, so they can't identify her? That's a facelift. Was that the grey lady or did her sister do that? Because that's kind of dark. Or maybe it's like a visual representation that she stole her identity. I really hope she didn't cut her face off. Oh, legs! A horrible dream. I hope so. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, I her bed I is empty, and this is reality. Oh, look, there's us. This is Martha and me at the festival of the patron saint. It was only a few months ago, and now... Now she's dead. Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. 
She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? I think you need a boyfriend, love. This tumbler shit, ain't it? All right. Oh, wait. Not only can I see my legs, but I can see down my top. That is some amazing graphics. Oh, look, my shadow. Oh, I'm obsessed with me. Is there a mirror? I want to check myself out. Oh, okay. Don't have a reflection, but that's this cool. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. Well, we know what happened. You're a lying bitch. It's locked. Ah, okay. Ah, what a beautiful day in what appears to be France. Let's, um, maybe go in here and put some clothes on? It's a bit cold outside. Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could Mummy. wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Now nah, we wear we wear Marthas because you know we've we've gone the whole nine yards. Why not take the whole hog? Whoa! And look at that, my blouse is on. That's that's um, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh man, it's such a nice day outside. My hay fever's gonna run riot. Oh gosh, if Mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. It's me and Lapo. Lapo? I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. Alright. Lapo. He's your lover, shall we say? What's this? My dress. The one Martha wore when she was... Oh. That's what you found her in? It's kind of morbid. Maybe, maybe throw that out. Everything I need is always in my bag. Tampons and everything. Let's, um... I really should want find a key for that, though. But maybe we'll find that later. I don't know. i got stuff to do. i got more Before lies I to tell. Before I leave the room, I should probably take a good look around. Oh, God! Fine! The key to my trinket box. Done it. Alright, we had it in our bag all this whole time. Here is my diary. Is that it? Julia's diary. Okay, what's in here? July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. Huh. Isn't that nice? Yes, Huey. I'll be right there. I'm just going upstairs to call Martha down for breakfast. We're not Martha! Fine, but I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? What did you say? Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. So when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They Thanks, really Mom. think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. So Martha was deaf. Okay. Wow, imagine lying to your parents that you're the other one. Twins really are a nightmare. Alright, so a lot of stuff is locked in the demo. But I gotta say... I'm loving this story so far. It's already got me gripped. Oh, mother! I can't hear shit! And I'm definitely Martha! Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for Yulia. I will take it away soon. 
Uh, I promise. The thought makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if... I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right, but let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. Yeah, well, not like we just lost a daughter or anything. All right, Mum so parents don't care. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Mother! Everything is more oh, complex wow. with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little oh, to nothing of them. Wow. We live in a nice place! I don't I don't regret being Martha now. If it means I'm the favourite, I'll do whatever it takes. So there's a camera. For Julia to take more and more photos. Dad. Yeah, I'll be taking that. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph the sparrow. Yeah, there sure. Why the hell not? Okay, what we gotta do? The frame demo blocks. I must have put one of the photos in this empty frame. I always said Martha I would, but never did. Requirements the camera. Alright. I'm not going to read all of that, because that's just a lot. Okay! We have a camera, and I am to photograph a sparrow. Man, this home? Not going to lie? Bloody fantastic. All photographs that father took of this house. I take photos of this house. Oh, On shit! Chauncey, on the day of St. Alexis, the battle rages in the city tormented by Anglo-American bombing. My dead sister is just left here for me. No one left me a note saying, oh, P.S. Julia, sister is dead on kitchen table. Shit! Jesus Christ, just left open so the flies can get... All right. I thought I saw no, no, that's a not scalp. It must be this whole situation making me see things that don't exist. Yeah, I'm seeing that. I'm seeing a dead bitch on the table, though. Can I turn that off? It really is not nice. What's this? Florence, July fifteenth, nineteen forty-four. Oh, we're in Italy. General Erich K. As per our prior agreement, we are sending you military encrypted communication material. The device must remain hidden and secret. Hail. Feld Mascherallo, Carl H. Right. So we're all cushy with the Fuhrer. That's, that's cool. Oh, a basement. Why am I excited about that? I don't want to go down the basement. We're going to have to, aren't I? Let's have a look down here. Ah, oh, wine. I'm going to need some of this shit. Another note. What's this? Lorenzini haberdashery. Five meters of grey cotton fabric. Six meters of white linen fabric. Four meters of green satin. Delivered on June 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of mummies, or could the nanny have left it here? Or is mummy making a swastika? That's, uh, oh, we're going in that red room in a minute. First of all, oh my god, is this... Do we have all this wine? Holy shit! Oh, it's a party of mine tonight. We're getting crunk. Wow. Right, I'm going to explore outside in a second. Like, I, my, my mansion of a house is calling me. Um, alright, so the plot thickens. I guess we should develop a photo for our sis, whose, you know, identity we've stolen. A lens and a roll of infrared film. They can photograph what the naked eye cannot see. Okay. Please don't tell me we're going to go and, like, you know, look at ghosts for it, because I can't... Before I can use the enlarger, I should take a photo. All right! Come on, Em. Get out of here. Now, what would be the morally right thing to do? Like, what would be a decent photograph to take? 
My dead sister! Let's do it! Okay, um... Yay, I've taken my first photo. I've done it. There we go! See, you look fabulous, sweetie. Sweetie, I'm gonna make the... I'll Photoshop your dead face. Don't worry, it's cool. Let's go down in the basement. And let's, uh, continue our very weird existence. Close that door. We can't have any natural light in here. It'll ruin the photograph. There we go. This this photo is going to come out great. I really tried to emphasize the lighting. I hope they all see that and you know not judge me. Pop. Okay, cool. Yes, my dead sister. There we go. That's what I'm going to call it. Put it in the album. Oh, I did that. Wow. Today was a fun day. I should I go to the lake by going through the woods. Maybe the important events I should know are right there. Really? Why is there blood? I, you know, I, I, there's too much questions being asked. I'm just going to go to the lake. Where's the map? The lake through the woods. I have to go there? Are you kidding me? I better have a bike or something. I'm just one little lady. Right, which way do I go? I go that way, I guess. All right, so we're going into the woods. This, you know, this is how your sister died. I'm just gonna say, it's not the best idea you've had. But it is a day to get murdered in the woods. That I will say. If you are gonna get murdered in the woods, today would be the day. All right, where do I go from here? If I just keep following the trail down. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll stick to the center path. Don't want to get too Blair Witch. Wow, what a beautiful game. And I'm very intrigued by the story. So clearly she wasn't loved as much as Martha. Hence why she was desperate to take her place when she died. I'd be very interested to see where this progresses um, past the demo. So let me know when this finishes, guys. If you would like a full continuation of this. Because this is... Oh, crap! German. to follow them and see what's happening. No, you don't. Damn it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm just going to go to the... I'm going to go to the lake. Because I, I am not ready. Look at me. I'm wearing sandals. I'm not ready for the war. Oh! <gasps> oh, God, please, no. Lapo, my dear friend. Oh, that's Lapo? What have they done to you? Blow his legs off. Your handkerchief was the symbol of what you believed in. So at least that is Lapo. Man, I'm going to be traumatised. Okay, I'm going to wear that as a scarf. All right. Oh, is it a love note to me? Please be a love note to me. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? <gasps> I know you too well. He knows. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. Oh. I've been shot! No! Du hast ein Mädchen erschossen, du Idiot! Scheiße, scheiße, scheiße! Was machen wir jetzt? Sieh mal, was sie um ihren Hals hat. Sie ist eine von ihnen. Es musste getan werden. 
Sie ist die Tochter von General Erich K., du verdammter Trottel. Oh. Sie war die Freundin von diesem armen Kerl. Oh, verdammt, jetzt sind wir wirklich am Arsch. Oh, das ist General. Lass uns abhauen. Aber, aber sie lebt noch. Sie liegt im Sterben. Siehst du, wo du sie getroffen hast? Sie ist bestimmt schon tot. Wir müssen jetzt abhauen, sonst sind wir auch bald tot. Oh, that's gonna be pissed. Two sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No, impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We drew lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true, but it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However, little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damned smart, and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. I think that knife is sharp. It's a very sharp sigh. So wait, is he going to give her a life back? Because that's obviously death. Wow. Wow! My god! Guys, that was amazing. Um, I'd love to know more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you want to see more of this. Like, love, cross my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Stay dazzling. Ha! <laughs>